it is Catholic Sisters Week, a week to celebrate the women religious who do so much for our communities and our world to make it all so much better. Today, we are so happy to welcome two sisters of St. Dominic of Amityville, Sister Denise Haviland, the director of pastoral care at Dominican Village, and Sister Peggy Warren, the Director of Reception Services. Thank you both so much for joining us. You're welcome. I was uh, educated by Sisters of St. Dominic of Spark Hill, oh, okay. upstate New York. So, and, and I was recently talking to um, a, a priest who was just saying, the Sisters of St. Dominic made such an impression, you know, in our lives. And all these years later, like how many, how many people have been educated by the Sisters of St. Dominic? And here, you are part of Long Island history. It, Sister Peggy, can you tell us more about that? Sure. 1876, <laughs> we were given the property that we are now located on in Amityville. And we were really given it so that the orphans that were being tended to, the young people who were being educated, and the elders who actually were being cared for by the sisters in Brooklyn would have a wonderful place on the island in the country. And so when we moved, we moved and we had a farm. We actually had youngsters that lived with us as they opened the buildings. We educated not only the young people who were living with us, but the neighborhood people. And we had the elders who had come out with us as well. Well, you know, almost a century and a half later, the same kind of things are happening right on our right property. On property. Exactly. Right there. We have a farm, Homecoming Farm, mm -hmm. one of our sponsored ministries. The other thing that we do over in the mother house is we have the opening word, educating our immigrant population to speak English. And of course, we have Dominican Village where Denise and I both work. And here we are caring for our elders or really sharing our life with the seniors right. who are our residents. Yeah, tell us more about Dominican Yeah, we, we, we do truly share life with them there. Um, the pastoral care department, I've been there for 13 years. Um, and, and we minister to the emotional and spiritual well-being of our residents. We have activities and programs. We, um, a lot, most of our residents are Catholic, you know. We do have Lutherans, Episcopalians, Jewish. Anyone is welcome to live at Dominican Village. And we try to accommodate uh, any needs that they have spiritually. We, um, we have just come through an awful time of COVID. Um, and Dominican Village is a social model, not so much a medical model of senior living. And and when you say that, what do you mean? Meaning that it's, it's a community, that we do have an assisted living facility there. We have 66 assisted living apartments but we have 200 independent apartments. But it's the socialization that I believe our seniors really benefit from, being with other people who have the same memories, who have the same um, touching points in life. A lot of people come after they lose their spouse, but we do have couples that move in, uh, and, and many couples have been there for years. When I, I, the motto is, uh, when you're here, when you're, here, you're, you're home. You're home That's right. That yeah. is their home. Then, you know. And, and for the majority of people, they, they have a sense of home there. Mm -hmm. You know, some people don't come because they want to come, because mm -hmm. their families, you know, want them to be safe. And, and most of the time, they do adjust. Um, but I, I would say that most of the people are happy to be there. It, it is, um, you know, like you said. To have meals with people, right. to be able to do things together. Community. Exactly. Oh. Community, yeah. um, activities together. That's you know, right. They yeah. may have been at home alone and thought they were fine, but That's now they right. realize, oh, no, this is, this now, is a better life. Alone is not a good thing mm -hmm. for a senior. Not a good thing. Yeah. Um, and they haven't been able to go to church. They're going to be able to, to go to church this weekend. Back this to our will mother be the house. first in the mother oh, house. After wow, yes, how long? After two years. Wow, that's so great. You know, um, but we do have church at Dominican Village. We, we, you know, we have gather them together for services once we opened after COVID, um, and so we have several services each week where they can get communion. We can have mass occasionally, usually twice a month. 
we have someone come in to do mass. Um, we have bereavement services when spouses die or loved ones die. Um, so we, we try to just share their life with them there. How, how was it during COVID to keep everybody? <laughs> I, saw, I saw you sigh, Sister Peggy. Yeah, like, it was, that had to be so difficult. Yeah. Well, let us tell you, we are so happy that we're not isolated from people. Mm -hmm. right. But Denise and I, during the whole time, really, that was the ministry that we were able to engage in, was that right. we were able to go to apartments and see people and help people and connect people. Right, one-on-one, -on -one, you know. You know, because that, that isolation was that. just the opposite of what we want to bring people mm -hmm. to. So it was extremely difficult. So right now, it's great. You know, when you see a group of people coming into the meals together and people that are, you know, going for walks together and people that are coming to socials, they're going to activities of every imaginable mm -hmm. variety. And that's the nice thing. You can choose to go to this or you can choose to go to that. That's right. And they couldn't choose much during COVID. We did an awful lot in terms of using our insert, you know, inside TV to be able to broadcast things, but it's not the same. Mm -hmm. It's being with people that's important, and that's really what we're about. It's yes. being with right. people and being a community. After all these years, starting out um, taking care of orphans and the elderly, mm -hmm. and still right. today, you know, taking care of the elderly, and it, we're watching our population here on Long Island. We are I aging, mm -hmm. and yes. uh, you know, this is this is where where people need this community. And thank you so much. You're Happy, welcome. Happy Catholic Sisters Week. Well, yes, thank, thank you. you for, thank, thank you. For, you. I, like, I want to say thank you for your service. <laughs> and I really mean it. <laughs> so thank it's you very much. It's it really yeah. a joy. It is. It's a joy. That's right. It's what gives them. us life. <sighs> thank you so much for joining us.